All right, uh, kind of an update here, and again, this is spoiler territory, so if you want to wait and watch the show, by all means, watch the show. Um, this week's Power of Veto, of course, Jackson. Jackson's going to take himself down. Tomorrow is the big day, because Christy has that diamond. She can she can make it a diamond Power of Veto so that Jackson can take down whoever he wants and put her whoever he wants up, right? Now... There's some talk about maybe some kind of uh, fudginess on Cliff's behalf, where Cliff is assuring Christy, I wouldn't put you up, I wouldn't put you up, that's not going to happen, so that she wouldn't use that diamond power, and that he's going to tell her, yeah, I'll put up whoever you'd like, and there's talks of Bella, but he's also talking to Bella and Nick about the possibility of just preventing her from using it at all, so that he can put her up? And thus, wipe out all of the powers in the house. The only problem is, of course, that would be Jack. That would be Christy. Jack would end up getting voted out in all likelihood. But it, it does mean that six shooters kind of lose that power as long as two of them are on the block. Um, and, and that's the key. You've got to have two members of that alliance on the, on the block. Or this just goes away. And Cliff's head of household didn't accomplish what they wanted it to. Um... Jack's the big target. I think he's been the big target the whole way along. I think if they'd gotten Jackson out, I think that would have been fine by them as well. But um, Jack's been the target, and and it looks like that's who they want to get out, as in the house wants to get out. This has to be a good week for Nicole, because she's not a target. Uh, good week for Jess as well. She's not a target either. And just in general... The house and the way that it's it's structured, having Cliff has had a household really, really seemingly broken it up nicely. Uh, so we'll see whether or not Cliff uses his influence to stop Christy from using the diamond veto, because of course then Bella would be on the block with Jack, and Bella would likely go home, which nobody in the house will argue is a bad idea. Bella going home is fantastic. They they want her out of the house. She's driving them nuts. At least that's what they're saying on the live feeds. The thing is, is Bella the big threat? No. Bella's driving people nuts. She's not the big threat. So we'll see what happens, whether they send Jack out or not. But the veto going to Jackson kind of complicates things a little bit. If the veto had been won by Cliff and he keeps the nominations the same, you're in good shape. But as it is... We're gonna see on we're gonna see tomorrow whether or not Christy uses it. So here's my question for those that watch this video: Is Christy likely to use her special power? I think she should save it. I think she'd be foolish to use it right now. I think you save it for another week or two because it's good for two more weeks. This to me doesn't seem like the time to play the golden power of veto. Um, let things play out the way they're going to. This alliance has all fallen apart. And Christy is kind of playing both sides right now anyways. Christy and Tommy are kind of floating a little bit. They're in six shooters, but you get the feeling that if 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 the, the six shooters, which is the three couples, because Tommy and Christy clearly are not a couple, um, but if if those, those six get broken up, she may very well swing to the other side of the house. And that would really open things up. But let me know what you guys think. Who do you think ends up going up instead? Uh, do they throw up a pawn, which would be a horrible idea. The pawns always go. Or does it not matter? Is Jack going either way? Let me know what you guys think, especially those who have been watching the live feeds. I haven't actually checked out the live feeds today. I was doing a lot of hockey stuff, defending my honor on the hockey channel. <laughs> Twice today, so eh, a little bit touchy. But, you know, that's that's kind of the way things work when you're a YouTuber and, and you get a lot of people watching you and you're going to have people to say, no, I don't agree, so... Because we have differing opinions, yours is wrong. And so, you know, that's just going to happen. Um, and this is where with Big Brother we get differing opinions as well. Uh, I've seen that on the video uh, where I think Big Brother needs to edit accurately. Where there's some people saying, nah, that's not happening. This is just news about nothing. But yeah, this this house, it's a toxic environment. If they get Jack out, you're, you're on your way to making things better. Um, and so we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. I, I really hope that this is the week that we see a, a big name get knocked out so that it really opens up the house. The thing I can't stand on this show is when you see an alliance at the very beginning 
and it runs the house right until the end. Um, if it's an alliance of two people, like I've mentioned Shiltown many times, and there's been other two people alliances that have been very good, that's fun. But when there are a majority, when it's there's eight of us, are you bloody kidding me? That's not an alliance, that's a gang. Uh, let me know your thoughts though on that as well. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happen upon this wonderful video while you're browsing your way through the internet. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon.